Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm not Becky Wiscombe, um, who's head of sixth form because she's got COVID, as have the head of year 13. I had a week before, so I definitely don't have COVID. I'm not the same <laughs> person in the school. Um, but I'm head of year 12, taking them through into head of year 13, and I teach A-level politics and psychology. So I only teach sixth form, so I do know it very well. Um, Firstly, she wanted to go through with who works up in six months. We very much sort of work as a team. We're all completely based up there. I never leave. So there's always somebody up in six form. So um, Becky's head of six form. She's been head of six form for about three years, I think. Um, head of year 12. T's head of year 13. And then Fiona, I don't know what her role is. She calls herself like the six form mum. Uh, she does all the admin absences, currently organising all the end of year trips. Um, and Andrea does all the UCAS university applications, apprenticeships, careers advice, and Oxbridge um, preparation as well. What's the T? Um, tutor groups, so all year, year 12 and year 13 are in tutor groups as lower school, but they're much smaller, so there's only 20. In fact, I think they're slightly less per tutor group. <coughs> um, and just as the lower school, they have, uh, they've got to be in at 8.30 every day. Um, they have form time every day. Um, Yes, there's, I think there's no, that, that would be for next year. So there are eight tutor groups for year 13 in order to make sure that there are only 20 per tutor group. Um, so they've got to be in form every single day at 8.30, regardless of um, when their lessons start. If you get them all up, they're all in. Um, and then they've got to be in registration Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the afternoon. They can leave early on certain days because we do um, tutorials on day of week. They each have one-to-one -one time with their tutor. Um, and that's recorded as well uh, and they have that once every half term so how are things going they'll look through their latest reports uh, might follow up and contact the teachers um, and then if they don't have a tutorial they can go home early uh, and then they have this structured program so PHSE just as for the lower school one day a week um, assemblies they'll have the same assemblies as lower school but it's kind of a lot of things continue but are different uh, what we do so inclusive um, so they do need to get um, I think it's seven at least five passes to get into um, six months we have a really wide range of abilities um, they start off with three A levels a few of them do four uh, particularly if they speak a fourth language they might do that or maths and further maths they might do four um, the sixth form have you been up to the sixth form area it's really nice isn't it like it's quite new um, uh, yeah, they've got their pastoral tutor in a small form. They have the one-to-one -one mentoring, and in year 12, it's every Thursday. Facilities, we said they've got, uh, they've got the computer room, they've got the big common room, they've got lockers. There are two classrooms that are for A-level classes. Um, we started, now we've got smaller group rooms because we've got silent study rooms, and then kids might work in in groups. We have other groups. If you go up at break time, it's busy. So they all find their little places. Um, and it's in the common room, they can make tea and coffee, there's fridges, there's microwaves, um, all like that. Uh, yeah, so facilities. Results. Um, so these, are all, these are the summer to go, that's when it was teachers assessed grades. So um, over 50% A star for A and 81% A star for B, 100% um, pass rate. And this is before the teacher assessed grades, so when they did exams as is the case this year, it was 35% A-star to A, but 68% A-star to B. So the, the, the bright kids, the, the, the really are. We have a lot of very bright kids. We've had five got places at Oxbridge this year. Wow. Yeah, so it's exciting. Uh, but we do have a full range of abilities. But, which is great, we do have 100%, uh, normally always 100% pass rate. So we get them to do it. And then, I think this must be the year before last, you put the um, destinations, the universities, the most popular ones. Um, so Exeter was, and it varies year to year, often you get a little group and they like it and they go together. But Exeter was the most popular, so I think the year before last year. Bristol is quite funny at Bristol, because it's a top uni, and for some reason they, we're on their system as being a deprived school, which we never know. Um, <laughs> so they give the kids contextual offers and we don't want to correct them. Um, so they're normally some, they're asking for A star AA and they get AAA or even AAB offers. Gosh. Um, one day they will get found out, but <laughs> uh, Nottingham, I don't know, they love, seem to love Nottingham Trent. Um, they put there and then put some others and they've got in 2020, yeah, Nottingham Trent, I think they all love it there. 
Leeds, Portsmouth, Loughborough. We have got a lot of sporty kids, uh, so maybe they tend to like Loughborough. It'll vary from year to year, but uh, I would say probably close to two thirds to go to Russell Group University too. And then it was this year, so five got them to Oxbridge, but they've got to get their, their grade. Um, popular courses, so this, yeah, I think this is from last year to psychology. Um, and then you, it tends to be finance, accounting, business is always very popular. Math, engineering, politics, oh, that's nice. Politics, history. So it, it, we do have a real variety. But you tend to find, yeah, psychology and um, things like accounting, business tend to be very popular. Um, so, so numbers are down a little bit. Well, I've been told not to stress that too much. I reckon we'll get higher than that. At the moment, we've got about 150 in the year group. Next year, we're, down, we're 110, but it, it, I reckon it could get higher than that. Um, we'll have a mixture of, most of our students come from Hinchley Wood, but we have people, students come from other schools as well. And like they settle in, you wouldn't know who was who, really. And the average class size, it does vary, is 10. So in psychology, I do have class of 20. But, um, and then if it's pulled down by, I know, languages, there might be five in the class. But we try and keep them small. Uh, class. So all students study three A-levels. It's very rare to have any do two. Maybe you might have one who didn't do two every two or three years because something has happened in their lives and they've had to drop one. Um, some may start with four. That's maybe when they do maths and further maths or they say they were a language and that has to be agreed and normally it's agreed because they got a string of eights and nines at GCSE. Um, they get target grades, so uh, based on their GCSEs, it's an algorithm that calculates that early on in year 12. Um, so students with their average GCSEs would be projected to get, I don't know, C grade in psychology. And then whenever they get data regularly throughout the year and they're told whether they're on track to get their target grades um, or below or above, and, the, and they'll, they'll, we always go aspirational target grades. Um, they can move up and down. So if a target grade is a C and they're doing really well, we could move, we do commonly move their target grades up. Um, every half term, um, teachers will provide um, assessment data and that will be sent home. And then we review it and put um, intervention in place. And at the moment, year 12s are off. They're doing exams. Uh, they're doing mock exams. So they, they always do mock exams once all the main GCSEs and A-levels are over. Mm -hmm. And that's the main basis of their UCAS, their University Predicted Grades. And they get those, they'll be getting those in probably the end of September. So they'll get their, their mock grades before the summer. And then when they come back in September, teachers will start putting their uh, University Predicted Grades in. And they do that. And then you, they do another set of mocks at the end of year 12. And they also do mocks in January. So when they come back after Christmas. Although we did them before Christmas last year because of the pandemic, and it's much nicer. I think awful doing mocks after Christmas. <laughs> but it's just whether it all, I, do, I feel for them. So I think we're gonna try and do it before, if we can, but it, it's probably whether year 11 agree. It's just getting everybody in the hall. <laughs> um, I was just miserable doing exams after Christmas, but they do another set of mocks. Uh, so the, the structure is they get, um, and I think this might be less than other schools, um, four hours of teaching content per subject each week, um, or it could be slightly less one week and then more the next week, so it'd be eight per fortnight. Uh, and it's often, <coughs> it works out four with one teacher and four with the other teacher, it works. Um, and then the expectation is that they then do for every hour in the classroom, they're doing an hour outside of the classroom. Um, and that includes sort of official homework, which they will hand in, and also something called directed study. Um, so. Directed study is timetabled in, so they get, as well as their normal lessons, each week they'll get four hours of what called directed study. They're in a room and they have to work in silence. Um, and it's, uh, there are teachers in there the whole time making, they do work in silence, huge great rooms, and uh, they are given work by their teachers to do. I think that might be on the next slide. Um, and they can sign out during their free periods. So they've got to be in at 8.30 every day. They can come and go in their free periods as, So directed study, so for, as well as being in their class, each department gives them each half term a directed study a booklet. Um, and the whole idea is they're doing an hour of work 
um, a week. And they've got this timetable lesson to do it. Um, it not mar I mean, not marked. You don't need to mark it. Um, so I, like in politics, I'll often give them podcasts to listen to, and they've got to make notes, extra reading to do. And um, we recommend each department does half termly folded checks just to check that they are doing the directive study. Um, you could check it more than this. I tend to, at the end of each half term, get them to hand it in in one section, and I'll go through, through it. Um, and the idea is they get homework that's marked and they get feedback on every fortnight, at least. And then there's a dress code. Uh, but it's, it's a very relaxed. They moan about it, but man, that's my old school. So, uh, what did he say? They've just got to be like respectfully dressed. So um, skirts can't be too short, tops can't be too low, but they can wear jeans. <laughs> yeah, they can wear jeans and hoodies. So it's just basically uh, um, if they've got leggings that they've got a longer top on and they can't wear tracksuit bottoms, that's it. Or ripped jeans. They can wear jeans and hoodie, which is what most of them wear. But on Wednesdays, uh, I don't think we're going to do And then every. Um, Wednesday they have enrichment, sport, I think that might, might, might be on the next slide, and uh, but they can wear PE kit on a Wednesday, so they can come in and track the bottom, because there's nowhere actually for them to get changed. They do wear their track the bottoms on a Wednesday, which they wear. So this is Wednesday, when, every Wednesday afternoon, all six forms are off timetable, and they do something enriching, they change it every half, they can change every half term. Um, so it's a lot of sport, football, uh, basketball, Badminton, uh, tennis, and in the summer they all they all pick rounders. It's great. So you've got about 150 kids out when there's a rounders tournament, and the staff will join in. Uh, we do a sign language um, thing. We got there's a film club. Uh, the board we started board games actually. We make a cup of tea and play board games. That's every Wednesday afternoon. Um, year 12. So they're they're back next week. They've only got a week, and then they're off for work experience for the very last week. Um, and then we do as well um, corporate breakfast, so I think these are twice a year and uh, Andrea, who, who does all the careers and stuff, gets people from a range of different businesses and other career areas to come in and do, they get breakfast and they get to meet people. Uh, it's often parents or people she's built up with links over time. As well, is there, and there are other things we do. So there's, oh, a New York trip plan for October 2023. That's run every other year. They go ice skating um, at Christmas and for pizza, West End theatre trips. There's a group, have you heard about Leeds? Yeah, yeah Leaders in Diversity, and it's all sixth form led. And so the sixth formers meet once a week doing, um, as a sixth form, and then they lead the lower school. So it's all sixth form led, and they run assembly because they're amazing. Uh, at the moment, we've got uh, five students um, on bursaries at Eton for a week on the university preparation programme. Uh, so, oh, this is a, a cool thing. So all the year 12s have to do um, with some sort of form of leadership in the lower school. So I email out all the teachers, what would you like year 12s to do? And I have them all written down on the spreadsheet and they sign up. They have to go out and do an hour and get it signed off. So helping in classes, um, sports, running sports clubs, uh, helping out in the Cullum Centre and with the SEN department, guest speakers, so we recently had a High Court judge from Kingston Crown Court come in and speak, and then at the end of the year we do uh, barbecue and boat parties. We've actually started as well this year a lot more mentoring with lower schools, mm -hmm. so we've got um, a whole group of boys, there's 30 of them mentoring 50 year 7 boys, and they come up to the system, it's lovely, mm -hmm. they're so good. Uh, that's that's a my I don't know where to stop. What will go to our fifty two? All right, so I'm a little bit early. Is there um I went through that quite quickly. Can you know, many questions? That's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the um, entry grade for six form? I think five classes. Five so classes uh, at five. At a... I'm trying to remember. Yes, five or above. Mm. And then we've got issues with English. Some occasionally we will have reset maths or English. And then there are specific grade requirements for each subject. Yeah. So they need a seven for science, a seven for maths. So every subject 
will have individual grade requirements as well. That's high as well, isn't it? Mm. Mm. We tend to find that most students will, because they're, because they're, the grades here are generally very good, mm. um, most of them will get the grades for the subjects that they want to do. Um, anyone have any other questions about? Do all the sixth form lessons happen in the sixth form? No. So the only so there are there are two classrooms up there, and there so it's all the psych, most of the psychology ones are up there because it's just an A level subject. But most they're normally in the departments of the science ones or in the science lab, the math ones are in. So they tend to they go to with teachers. Um, yes, yeah, so they're all around the school. Um, yeah. If you don't teach sixth form, do you yeah. feel lessons are still on the trips and the extracurricular with them? I think certainly you can certainly things like the leadership so you could offer to have them in your one of your, your classes uh volunteers so they're going to um big water park next friday and we've got various staff from over school helping yeah it is a ratio isn't it uh, for student I mean, to teacher ratio yeah there's, there's, yeah, there's um, for student and yeah I mean, we need to send them male staff to men. Mm. Yeah, and I'm taking them to Parliament on Wednesday. That should be taking <laughs> twenty <laughs> canaries. <laughs> yeah, right. Can't wait for the kids are beside themselves. <laughs> um, next Wednesday. I mean, wow. Yeah. Is there anyone remaining in the Parliament? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My record will be what well, I might get offered education secretary. We will get pay rises. Um, yes. Oh, they've actually just appointed an education secretary. I think. Oh, so James Cleverly, because the, the, okay. there was a name, what was the name? Oh, no, she only did it for a day. And she was like, yeah. everyone appointed just said, could you leave? Good yeah. Day. Brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, that's sixth form. So it's a good place, great kids. Uh, oh, and we also have up there is um, every Thursday a uh, Nomi Raj, she's a, a relational worker, she does drop in. Sessions for students who just want to talk. That's every Thursday at nine fifteen. Mm -hmm. And then just book an appointment with Fiona, who does all the admin, and they get in from her every Thursday. Cool. That's it. I don't know. Do you? Is there anything else? Do